I'm Alexis and this is Micah and you're watching Raising Baby Diaz. Today we're going to be talking about Micah's five to seven month update and if you hear talking, his dad's right there playing Call of Duty. So, um, Micah turns seven months in a little under, a little over a week or a little under a week. Basically in a week he turns seven months and my last update was when he was four months, I'm pretty sure. So, um, here is what I have to talk about with during this time span. So, um, at five months we actually introduced a sippy cup to him and um he's done pretty well i give him two ounces of water not every day sometimes every day but mostly just when i feel like it and it just keeps him happy and he does really well with the sippy cups especially the ones that have handles he does pretty well with that and um at six months we decided to start solids so we started solids in six months which was which was like the most exciting thing and we started with only two ounces of baby food a day for about two weeks and then i introduced another two ounces um i would only feed him breakfast and now i feed him breakfast and dinner so he was getting four ounces a day two ounces at each meal and currently um six months closer to seven months he's still only getting breakfast and dinner but he's getting eight ounces a day four ounces at each meal um so i asked this doctor how much i could be feeding him he said i can feed him three times a day four ounces at each meal that just seemed too much to me um so i just followed his cues <coughs> at first he didn't want four ounces in the morning but in the, in the evening he would and now he'll also eat four ounces in the morning usually like today this morning he had zucchini and then i gave him some banana does it get both in there um he does have some i started him on gerber and he does sometimes have store-bought organic baby food but for the most part he eats homemade baby food that i make and eventually i'll make a video on like how i make his food when i have to make more um but it's really easy i really love it and he enjoys it so um let me talk about his stats um, right now he's six months, almost seven months, and his appointment was like the beginning of January, January 6th or so. He was 17.15 pounds, so 17 pounds, 15 ounces, so basically 18 pounds. I believe he was 27 inches, um, and at 30 inches we have to get him a new car seat, so I'm kind of excited for a new car seat. Um, I'm tired of the infant one, he's too heavy to carry like that. And his head circumference, I'm pretty sure, was 17 inches around. I believe he's 50% in the 50 percentile for his weight and in the 60-something percentile for his height. And he is 70 percentiles, like he's not 70, 70 something. I don't know exactly for, he's trying to get it, for his, um, for his head circumference. So some things that I have on here is he fake coughs. He's fake he's fake cough for a while, but he does fake cough to get attention. He growls all the time. We joke that he's our little bear because he just growls. He is a crybaby and he's pretty clingy, but beside that, he's a really good baby. Sleep, he was sleeping in his crib like 12 hours straight during the night. I would let him fall asleep with me in the bed and then put him in his crib and he was doing great, but recently i don't know if it's a six month sleep regression or what i know that's a thing um he started waking up more during the night but it's also really cold here so it's kind of hot when he first goes to sleep and then around the time he would wake up it's like really cold in my room and he'd be like a little ice box so i'd bring him in my bed and the past couple nights i've just been letting him sleep with me in my bed again um because it's so cold and i don't want him to wake up cold like and i have to get him out anyways so that's a little bit obnoxious because once you get used to them not being in your bed, it totally changes things. Like I cried when he went to his crib and now I'm like, go to your crib. <laughs> go to your crib. Um, he is in six months and six to nine month clothing. So he's in six months and nine months. He can still fit six months, no problem. I thought he'd be grown out of it by now, but no. <laughs> And um, he also fits nine months, no problem. They both fit really simu similar to him. And um, diaper size, he's in size three or four. And Target brand, he's size four. Right now, we're using Pampers Cruisers, and he's size three in those. Um, he can he can sit up now. He sits up 
on his own pretty well not <coughs> completely but he can sit for longer extended amount of time now and um, i don't have to like watch him as much but i still do have to watch him otherwise he'll fall back and hit his head and <laughs> he's standing right now he likes to try to stand but he can't do it on his own um he says mama and he says dada and he screams he says mama and dada he said mama first and now he also says dada ever since he started saying dada he will not stop saying dada and um <laughs> and he does not roll that was one of my questions with the doctor is him not rolling he does not roll at all um the day after he kind of rolled a little bit but i honestly don't do tummy time very well very much um he doesn't roll belly to back or back to belly he just does not roll and um <laughs> the doctor said it's completely okay because he's like on par with all of his other milestones and he's sitting and he's saying rolling isn't that big of a deal now if he wasn't sitting that would be a little bit more of concern but it doesn't matter and i i thought it i wasn't worried about it i was just curious and the other thing i questioned his doctor about was his head because I had thought that his head was getting like flat, but the doctor felt it and assured me that it's not. And at his four month appointment, his doctor did say that it's not, but it's positional um, flat head. So he said he doesn't have flat head, but then he kind of said like he did because of how he sleeps at night on his back. But as he starts to sit up more, it should um, round back out. But I was like worried he's gonna need a helmet and the doctor's like, no. I can show you kids that need a helmet. He is down to two naps usually during the day. He can stay awake for two to three hours now between naps. He usually has, he usually wakes around nine in the morning, um, like for the day. He wakes usually like six or seven to eat and he nurses right back to sleep and he'll, <laughs> what are you doing? And he'll um, sleep until nine and then his first nap is around 11 in the morning and then he sleeps for like an hour to about 12. And then his second nap is about two in the afternoon and he'll sleep for two to four hours <laughs> for that nap so pretty nice usually it's on the longer side like three to four hours and then he goes down for bed at seven now like i said he has been having like more sleep difficulties lately which is a little obnoxious but nothing too big nothing out of the ordinary and you can kind of see like the indentations where his teeth are like in front of his gums nothing's poking through yet so he still has no teeth no teeth show them no teeth he always does that with his hand all of the time and his foot he always does that um but i think that's it i'm probably forgetting something i'm pretty sure i am but i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe click on the video on our end slate if you want to watch our last video because that's it and we'll all see you in our next video bye